I'm joined by engineer and the first woman to work on Mission Control, Poppy Northcutt. Poppy, thank you so much for being here today. I'm thrilled to be here. What role did you have for the Apollo 8 missions? I was always there to do Return to Earth. And Apollo 8 for me was probably the most exciting mission because it was my first. And I had never expected to be in the control center. We were there because they had accelerated the schedule uh, on Apollo 8 because the flight controllers were not used to doing trans-Earth injections, lunar kinds of maneuvers, uh, we were there to lend special support to them in those early missions. Why is it important that we study Apollo today? Well, I think it's one of the greatest human achievements that we've had so far, to actually land a spacecraft with people on the moon. It's an inspiration as well. I think it shows that we as human beings, if we cooperate and work together, we can make great achievements. And uh, we can make great achievements across national lines. Uh, and we can really build a unity over that. I think everyone on the planet was watching okay, when we did Apollo 11. Everyone on the planet. How important were women to the success of the Apollo program? Well, it's really hard to know because so many of the women were hidden figures. There were a lot of women programmers, computer programmers. Uh, so certainly women played an important role. So what would you say to um, encourage middle school students, particularly girls, who are interested in science and math? Well, you're, you're still going to experience discrimination, unfortunately. So you have to have a lot of grit if you're going to go in this. Um, I, I'm still reading articles about women uh, experience a lot of harassment, not just in science and tech, but women who go into any non-stereotypical role can, can experience that. But um, I think it's worth it. And uh, it gets better. Now, when you uh, left NASA, that was not the end of your career by any means. Do you want to tell us a little bit about what you did after NASA? Well, I became the women's advocate for the city of Houston. Uh, I was uh, appointed by Mayor Fred Hawkins and I was there to uh, increase the number of women in city government. And that was a, a fun role. And uh, then I went to law school and uh, I have done a lot of work for women's rights throughout the years. And right now I'm still uh, active in women's rights. Poppy, thank you so much for joining us today. My pleasure.